Hey everybody, so I came on because I wanted to do a video on testing for Bakelite and uh, I have a few bracelets here. I only had one or two that I wanted to test originally and then thankfully my uh, my son picked me up a whole bunch of bracelets at a thrift store and um, didn't ask him to, just did it out of the kindness of his heart. So if any of these end up testing as Bakelite, I will have to uh, split some some profit with him if it sells. The thing about Bakelite, if you're not aware, is that it will look exactly like um, plastic, and it will look like just cheap, just cheap plastic. It was. Um, they started using it in 1906 and they used it on, oh my goodness, all kinds of things from uh, TVs and radios and, and including jewelry. So this is the, the sort of go-to for Bakelite. Uh, it's, this is Simichrome polish. It is a metal polish, a chrome polish. A lot of people use it to polish the chrome on their motorbikes or their vehicles. Uh, I wouldn't be doing it too much on my vehicle because this cost me $18. <laughs> I'm sure that you could possibly find it on Amazon. I had a real problem finding it on Amazon when I was looking for it. I will put the link below where I got this uh, in Canada. And um, I think it was a golf shop. Which, of course, actually makes sense, right? They pro probably polish the golf clubs with it. So the idea with Bakelite is that um, you want to just put a little bit, you want to have some Q-tips. And just so, you know, if you're ever testing product, you don't want to ever put the product, The you don't ever want to put, and you only need a little bit. Um, and you don't ever want to put it on the piece you're testing directly. You want to put it on like a Q-tip or something. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a pink color, okay? So if any of these are, well, let's test this one. If any of these are Bakelite, and use an inconspicuous spot just in case the color comes off, okay? But if these are Bakelite... Um, it will turn a sort of brownish nicotine color. And as you can see, this is staying completely the same. Okay, there's no change in color at all. So I also did the hot water method on this. Uh, there is a bit of a smell to this and this was why I wanted to test it. So I'm still not entirely certain what the, what kind of plastic this is. There is also celluloid. There is loose lucite as well. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not because when I put this in hot water, uh, there is an odor, and uh, lucite, for example, should be odorless. So I know that this is not lucite. So I'm not quite sure what that what that is. Okay, here we have a blue bangle and we will do the same thing. We will just apply a little bit. I have not done the hot water method on this one at all. Hmm. Okay, that's a little bit let me just try another piece here. Whoops, that completely, oops. That actually does look a little bit darker. Let me just try. Hmm. I'm going to have to try the hot water method on this. I wish I had a real piece of Bakelite so that I actually knew what it would look like. 
I don't know whether it's dirt that's coming off of there or whether that's what it's supposed to look like. But that is, that is, oh my goodness. It's hard for me to see what, okay. That is definitely darker. It's supposed to look like a brownish kind of nicotine color. So yeah, I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to, I'll do the hot water method with this one. If you dip Bakelite into hot water, it is supposed to smell like formaldehyde. What does formaldehyde smell like? Probably like your science class. <laughs> I don't know. But um, in any case, I am going to test that further because the jury's out on that one. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm just going to put these over here to be discarded. I think it's a good idea to... Okay. Okay, that's very interesting. This actually does have a yellowish, brownish color. So this will require, oh my goodness, this will require further testing. That is the color that we're looking for, I believe. I think that may be Bakelite. It's a nicotine, yellowish, brownish color. And I do believe we've got it. So this one may be Bakelite. Oh, I would be so excited. I haven't done the hot water test on this one, so I will have to, I'll have to try that, see what happens. Uh, why you want to know what your plastic bracelets are is that Bakelite is very valuable. So, and I mean, I'm not talking about $25. I mean, some Bakelite, you, you know, people are selling for three to $400. So when I say it's valuable, now this is faux tortoiseshell, um, although I haven't actually done any kind of, um, I haven't done any sort of testing on it, but uh, yeah, it's got to be faux tortoiseshell, and tortoiseshell is actually illegal too, it's like ivory, you can't sell it. So unless you have inherited it, it probably really isn't worth uh, buying as a reseller because you're not going to be reselling it. Okay, so I'm not seeing any color coming off this one at all. This Q-tip is staying completely pink, as you can see, totally pink. So that one definitely is not Bakelite. Okay. And we have this one here. And again, you just wanna test Sort of an inconspicuous spot. Well, I believe the red's coming off on this. So that will not be Bakelite. If it, yeah, the red, see the red is coming off on that. So that is not Bakelite. Uh, if, the, if it's Bakelite, the color will not come off. So I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, this is actually a really nice bracelet. It's uh, sort of like a faux wood, but it's plastic. So you never know. Now this one is metal. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to do, because this is a metal polish, and I have never used this. I just got the silicone polish. Um, so one of the things that 
I had wanted to do. Do you remember, I don't know if you guys saw or watched the video that I did up yesterday where I was, um, oh, look at that. Wow. Um, where I was found those huge earrings. So I've got those out as well. And I'm just hoping, look at this. Look at this, you guys. Wow. I'm just sort of hoping that this will, um, that it will clean it up. Uh, I mean, like I have said, I don't think you want to use this to clean all of your metal jewelry because it is $18 a tube. And of course, then you've got shipping on top of it. But I'll tell you, it's very worthwhile having uh, if you are going to be testing anything like Bakelite because, look at this, because you can, um, if you have a Bakelite necklace or something, yeah, I mean, you can, oh, there is another piece, actually, that I wanted to test for, for, um, it's probably Lucite, I assume. Uh, the other thing, too, you guys, that I was just reading about, actually, is there is a plastic Lucite that, actually, they started using way before Bakelite, earlier than Bakelite. I think they started using Bakelite in 1906. Lucite, they started, uh, oh, look at this. Is this ever filthy? Um, Lucite, they started actually uh, using before Bakelite. And, whoa, the thing about it is that, um, I'm just going to town now on this one. I actually really like this bracelet. Um, it's got some dents. <laughs> it has a lot of dents and dings in it, but it's actually really a well-made bracelet. So, yeah, and it is filthy. But hey, what do you expect, right? When you're getting stuff from thrift stores and jewelry lots and, you know, what have you, right? <laughs> I mean, this is after I have been, you know. And then you just want to, I'm not sure if I have my buffer uh, cloth here or not. I think that you, the idea is that you want to buff this like you would, um, you know, I'm almost wondering if this is brass, if there's a brass, um, I'm almost wondering. It's quite heavy. It is quite heavy. I think it would be heavier if it was brass. I really do. I, I think it would be a lot heavier but it's cleaning like brass, you know? It's, um, you know, have you ever polished brass? It cleans up like brass does. Interesting. I do think, I'm pretty sure though, that would be heavier if it were. Anyway, I'm gonna have to buff that up. And I do like it. I do like this bracelet. I like it a lot. There's still tons of stuff coming off on this. Tons of stuff. Um, yeah, it's really interesting how... Um, now, these are disinfecting wipes that I'm actually now cleaning it with. And the, uh, oh, I think we're at the end of it. Doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to have an awful lot more coming off. 
So I think we're, I think we're pretty well done. It does have a weight to it, but I still think if it was brass, I think it would, it doesn't fit me. I believe that, uh, might be brass plated with maybe a copper and I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. So we want to test these ones and these ones again. Um, I'd like to test actually this one too, because I haven't done the hot water test. So I don't know this one. Um, I did, and it does have a smell. So this might be celluloid. This could be celluloid. Um, Lucite would not have an odor at all. It's odorless. So uh, now there's another one that I did want to grab. And I'm just going to see where I put it. Um, I hope it's just here. And the thing why I wanted to show this to you. Uh, oh, I'm not sure where I put it. I am. Oh, here it is. Yeah, the reason I wanted to show this guy to you guys was because I was reading about this today and I showed this the other day. This could be celluloid. Okay. Um, sorry, not celluloid. This could be lucite. Now, the thing about lucite is um, there's something called confetti lucite. If you see, and I know I've seen this in the lots that I've had. Um, now, I don't think that I don't think that lucite is incredibly valuable, uh, but it's probably more valuable than just a you know ninety nine cent plastic bracelet. Um, but the thing about it is that if you see amber color um, with like inclusions and whatnot, which, um, and I know I've seen that. I know I've seen it. And it's, it's not amber, it's plastic. It could be what's called confetti lucite. And I just only learned about that today. So, um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you, um, are just purchasing jewelry. Well, it does actually. You don't want to buy something that's Bakelite that isn't and pay $300 for it, right? Um, okay, I don't think that there is any color change on that at all. No. No, there's no color change on that at all. So that is not Bakelite. Um, so that's fine. But I will, it's always interesting, right, to know what in the world things are. I, I wouldn't have thought that this is Bakelite. And one of the reasons, actually, I should have looked at this before I even tested it. But it's okay. It's always good to test. Bakelite will be vintage. This is not a vintage piece. And you can just tell by the clasp. Um, this is a lobster clasp. They absolutely did not use lobster clasps back then. So that's the other thing that I want to point out. If you see a modern piece, it's not going to be Bakelite. Um, so there's your lobster clasp. So, yeah, that was, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt to test. And especially when you're just starting to learn about this stuff, it's, it's always good to experiment and test and see, you know, See what's what and uh, what happens when you do. Now, this is the piece. The, these were what I wanted to see. If this polish would clean these up. Because these are real novelty pieces, I think. Um, I believe that somebody would really enjoy these. Now, I just want to make sure that this is just, oh, yeah. I was hoping, which it seems to be, I was hoping that it was complete dirt. Uh, and it's not the gold tone that's come off. 
and it actually is. I mean, it may be vertigray. It may be, I don't know what it is. I really don't, but it's on both of them. Um, and it's pretty, it's pretty, I think it's coming off here. Yes, it is. Now I got to make sure. Yeah. Yay. Oh, that's fantastic. It has come off. Look at that. Look at this side. So, come on, focus. Look at that side. Look at this side. So, it is coming off, which is wonderful. I was really, really hoping that it was not the um, metal that had worn off, you know? Sometimes you just can't tell, right? But no, this is absolutely definitely coming off. Um, it's even coming off with just the wipes, but it comes off way better with the metal polish. So that's good. You do want to be a bit careful with silicone polish. It is corrosive. So you don't want to leave it on something, um, you know, too long. Or you may find that it, you know, you just, you want to. I think that, <laughs> don't do what I do. I didn't even read the directions. You don't want to do that. Uh, but I believe that what you, the idea of what you see, look at this. Look at this. Can you see all that dirt? I don't know if it's showing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not even sure what this is that's coming, that's all coming off here. I really have no idea. Um, but it's, it's, there's a lot, there's a lot on here. But we're going to make these look almost brand new by the time we're done. And that uh, metal polish couldn't have come in at a better time. And I hadn't even thought of it, about even using it to polish up jewelry. Because usually, I don't really have anything that... I mean, the only thing that usually, typically, I will clean is silver. Um, you know, I might give some of the costume jewelry and whatnot a little bit of a bath. Look at this. It's black. It's literally black. I don't know if that is picking that up or not. But, um, yeah, this is crazy. Um, again, I almost, this reminds me like polishing brass. I almost wonder if these are brass. It just has that kind of, they are gold tone, and there is no wear on it at all, and they are relatively heavy. But then, wouldn't they be heavy if they were, you know? Look at this. <laughs> Yikes. But it's not taking the, um, it doesn't, it's not taking the gold tone off or anything. It's just polishing up the, it's just polishing up the metal, which is, you know, I really think somebody's going to love these earrings as a novelty piece because honestly, I have never seen earrings like these. And that is what, that, you know, that's why I, I, I want to, I, I do want to clean these up because they are something a little bit a little bit of a novelty I guess I wish I knew where my buffing rag went to I'll tell you what I use as a buffing rag um is it over there I don't know <laughs> I use a makeup cloth you know those cloths, and they work beautifully. Um, you know the cloths that you're supposed to be able to just wet down and they remove your makeup? 
Well, after I uh, clean my jewelry and have dried it, that is what I sort of buff it up and polish it with. And they look, it looks really nice. And they're probably a lot cheaper than buying jewelry cloths. I don't know. Um, and this is just disinfectant wipes that I'm using right now. So, I mean, look at this, you know, compared to what it was, all of that filthy black is gone. So I'll do, I'll clean the other one. You don't have to watch me do that. This is gorgeous. It's come up beautifully. So I do recommend if you are, um, if you are in, if you are selling, I would really actually recommend that you get some silicone. I will put the link below where I bought it uh, because you cannot buy it locally here in town. Um, I tried. I always try first to shop local. Um, but you can do it on Amazon. My problem with Amazon is so many things are um, in U.S. dollars or, uh, you know, it's courier and you've got. So anyway, I just simply found this place online and it's in Canada. So I ordered it. So I will. I will do that. Yeah. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me in this video. I hope that. um I hope you enjoyed it and I will put the link below to where I ordered the Simichrome polish from. Okay, have a good day guys. Bye-bye.